Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I did a post on Instagram a little while ago asking, it was a Disney tag, and asking people to ask me questions and let me to answer on my channel. So I've written them down in my princess notebook. Let's get started. I apologise, I'm not used to having it filming on me and I feel a bit silly, <laughs> but I hope you like it. And I'll try not to be silly the whole time. <laughs> So Bambi21x asked, have you ever considered becoming a cast member? I would love to be a cast member. I'd, I think just working in any Disney park in general would be amazing. But I think a character would be the best one because I, when I worked at Debenhams, I'm just going to hug this mini mouse. When I worked at Debenhams, I dressed up as Mr. Blobby one time. The two people who did it before me, they you know, they just walked around, didn't do anything, and I was I had so much fun. I was going to join on shoes and bumping into things, falling on the beds on the home department. I had so much fun, and I wait, raised more money because people were loving how excited I was. So I know I think I would I would, I would love to be a character, especially a princess. But I think I think I'd be Minnie Mouse, really, so I can be all sassy. <laughs> No, definitely. I'll do. I'll just work there. I'll just pick up litter or you know, work in the shop, work on the rides, anything. Now I'm daydreaming. <laughs> Can you imagine though, if you work there and on your day off, you go there and you're there all the time. Oh, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> she also asked, "Is there an ultimate Disney item you'd like that you haven't got yet?" I think my number one grail item. Is let's see if I can find. Oh, I I love these Minnie Mouse dressed as character plushies, and I I want the aerial one very much, as I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you know. I love my aerial, so there is a Minnie Mouse dressed as aerial one that's high on my list. That is my number one item. I'm still on the hunt for. I mean, I want everything, but. That in particular. <laughs> um, at Disney Treasures asked, "What's your favourite item in your whole collection?" Now I'm thinking of doing a a separate video for this, like my top ten, maybe top fifteen items in the living room, and then one for the bedroom. <laughs> but my definitely my favourite item. It's really hard to narrow it down because I do love everything. I'm, I'm just, I just I just love the collection, but. I think my um, Cinderella Castle from Walt Disney World is my favourite. It's just so special and grand and so pretty, and it just—it's just such a piece to have in the collection. And I love it so much, and it's just the memories of buying it and getting it shipped home, and it got home before we did. That was pretty funny. <laughs> so what I also asked: What is it about the Little Mermaid that you love so much? I don't know, she's a mermaid. I mean, when I, it was out the year after I was born, so I suppose she sort of grow up on those sort of films at that, that age, don't you? And then I remember one day going to the Isle of Wight in, in a matching aerial and uh, top and leggings, and I used to put a pillowcase on my legs to be a mermaid. My brothers and sister used to tell me if I ate chili con carne, carne I would turn into a mermaid. I still never tried it because I never. Never liked the look of it as a kid, so I haven't found out if it does turn you into a mermaid. But I am a mermaid anyway. <laughs> I think because I like to swim as well. That's why maybe she stands out with her red hair and she's got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've always collected things from a young age. My mum and dad used to say my anthem as a child was "I want it all" by Queen. Oops. <laughs> She, uh, she also asked, what's your favourite Disney ride? Right, now this is, I'm going to have to do a long chat about this one, because I'm lucky enough that I've been to three out of the six of the Disney resorts. So Paris, it's a cross between Ratatouille and Pirates of the Caribbean, and I've still, I'm undecided whether I prefer Pirates in Paris or California. But I think, even though California's got like Captain Jack and the animatronic, you know, cool, cool stuff, but pirates and uh, Paris. Oh, I just love it. 
um, again and Ratatouille it's just, so, it's just so clever and so fun it breaks down a lot but it's worth it isn't it <laughs> if you've been on it and then Florida Seven, more, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train was probably my favourite there and also Little Mermaid Ride of course um, and then California because Soarin was closed when we went to Florida but it was open in California so that was oh that was so beautiful that was that went right up the top there <laughs> and then they've got Little Mermaid Ride there so that was one of my favourites what else was there? Indiana Jones Ride there was oh my god just oh what else oh it's just <laughs> what else was there oh Matterhorn that was scary I wouldn't put that in my favourites it was just scary <laughs> and then uh, experiment 626XX asked do you have any pets yep I've got fun for the rabbit who is a girl but the story of her is that we went to go get a rabbit we knew whatever the rabbit is it's going to be Thumper what else can you name a rabbit when you want a Disney name it's got to be Thumper <laughs> and then this this she put loads of little bunnies on the table and this Thumper kept thumping this, this one that there's one that just kept thumping, she even came over to me. We didn't know what the sex was at first, and then the lady turned it over, had a look, and it's a girl. <laughs> but she definitely chose us, because she came over and sniffed my hand. None of the others did, and she just kept thumping and thumping as she hasn't stopped since. And I love her so much. She's just the cutest little thing. She's very naughty as well, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then we've got Jack. We also had Cinderella, and... and um, Gus Gus but they've, they've gone over Rainbow Bridge now we also had Remy and Emil Buzz and Woody Perdita and Rapunzel so, yeah and then and we also actually I've not announced it on Instagram because the last time we got New Hampshire she went to Rainbow Bridge just after two weeks so we did we have got a new edition now called Daisy and she's quite the character. I will put, I will share a picture at some point. She's got I've had her over a month now, hopefully she's good. But she's adorable, so fluffy. <laughs> and we also have fish. But yeah, no cats or dogs because we can't have anything that could run off or be noisy because of somewhere where we live. I'm not going I can't discuss that really. <laughs> but uh yeah, we're not allowed any noisy ones. <laughs> Even though Fumper is Fumpy Fumpy. <laughs> When did you start collecting? She also asked. Well, <laughs> I remember before I met my husband, we'd been together 13 years this year. I had the odd few little mermaid bits, like pins and, and mugs. And then it's just gradually got bigger over the years. But definitely since um, our first ever trip to Disneyland Paris in 2012 is when it's just escalated and got worse and worse. Oops. <laughs> bigger and bigger. So I've had some things for quite a while, and, but yeah, it's definitely got more and more since 2012. Naughty, naughty. She also asked, what's your least favourite Disney movie? Now, I do love them all, and they're all magical and things. I don't want to, I'm not, I don't want to say any bad words about Disney, but I do have a couple that I'm not a fan of as much, like Brave. I don't, I don't think it had the same sparkle as all the other Pixar ones had. Um, and Good Dinosaur, wasn't it? Because what I didn't like was that scene where yeah, they ate something dodgy and then it, it was almost like a, a drugs thing. I know Pinocchio did that. But why, why do that now? So now I'm thinking. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't think it was necessary. So those two are not, I'm not so, so fussed about. But I do know. No, I still love it all. I still collect uh, Merida stuff, you know. But <laughs> it's not my most, it's my least favourite Pixar. Anyway. She also asked, "What's your favourite Disney movie?" Near to it, of course, The Little Mermaid. As I say, if you follow me on Instagram, Waltz Mouse eighty eight, you know. I love my area and my Little Mermaid. And Oh, she's wonderful. See, I'm all, I'm going all daydreaming, and I don't know what to say sometimes. So I'm sorry if I seem awkward in this video, but it is my first one where I'm fully f filming on me, and I do feel silly. Ooh. 
<laughs> what am I doing? Well, I hope you like my silliness. I hope it comes across as endearing rather than silly. <laughs> I took feel silly. Uh, at Z Heart asked me, do you collect anything besides Disney? Not really. <laughs> I used to collect me to you bears. And there's a cute story. I've got rid of, I've sold loads since then. I've kept a few really sentimental ones, like when me and my husband first started going out, he got me one for our one week anniversary. So that was sweet, with some chocolates. So I've kept that one because that's really special. And I've kept a few. Um, what else? In the kitchen, I like getting those signs that say, like, bake, you know, bakery type of things. I've got quite a few of those. But no, really, it's just Disney. I don't think I can think of anything else. I used to collect shoes and handbags. I used to have over a hundred. I've got rid of loads since then. I think it was because I worked at Debenhams, and the discount was okay, and I just wanted to buy buy shoes and bags all the time, you know. <laughs> Less thing, anything else. I don't know if this really, it's more of a because you got to do it. That's not my battery is low, is it? No, it's right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, program some concerts. You've got to get one of those every time, I think. That's about it, I think. Yeah. She also asked, what inspired your love for Disney? I suppose just growing up with Disney. I mean, I remember my dad, after school one day, came home with a VHS copy of Snow White and Anniversary Edition. It was white. I'm not sure it had some gold bits around it. I remember that really well. Getting all excited for that. There were so many videos that we had, like Bambi was quite heavy in my childhood. Snow White, Little Man May, Pocahontas, Jungle Book. Yeah. So I suppose that inspired it, I suppose, just being brought up on it and then going to Disneyland Paris for the first time makes it even more. Woo! <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm so silly. Do you also ask what inspired your Disney tattoos and do you have plans for more? Well, Little Mermaid ones, my love for her inspired those. Simba was because Lion King's one of my favourites, but I love. Let me see if I can. Dog. <laughs> Can't show it. No, probably not. I'll have to take pictures. But, um. I love that scene when Rafiki draw, draws Simba on the wall. That's that's a tattoo I've got, and I've got like a Mickey head heartbeat line one. If that makes sense, and that's so it's like my my heartbeat is Disney. <laughs> um, what else have I got? Some loads chip. Who oh, doesn't want a chip tattoo? I'm trying to get one from every Disney film. <laughs> well, not everyone. Most of them, but um, what else? Yeah, have I plans for more? Well, I'd like to get this guy tattooed on me. <laughs> I would love it. I'd love a Pixar leg sleeve, but I've already got some on my legs already. Can you see my thing? Hello. I'm probably sitting up. Probably, the whole video is probably going to be me like this, isn't it? <laughs> Let me sit back again. Right. What am I talking about? See, this is what I mean. I'm so silly and I don't edit, so this is all. I feel like I'm just having a chat with the camera. Yo. Tattoos, that's the one. What else I've got? I'd like Miko. Uh, more Little Mermaid characters. I want to add to that. What else would I like? Oh, I want the Rapunzel, or like the gold star or flower, or whatever. Gold sunflower. I don't know. Please, star. Not the flower. The I don't know, Cinderella's shoe. I would like Cinderella's shoe on my foot, but after getting some on my shin, I, don't, I think I'll skip that one somehow. <laughs> she also asked, I think she had some more, yeah. Do you have any suggestions on how to save budget for a Disney vacation? Well, I remember when we first went and I was watching loads of haul videos and this one girl said whenever she went out shopping she she saw a pair of jeans or mascara or whatever and she'd say do I really need this? This is, say the jeans are £20, this, this could be £20 I could turn into dollars and buy something over there so I suppose that's what you've got to do, you've got to look out 
if you're about to buy something, do I really need this? I could, this could go in my Disney pot to add up for more, you know, because my biggest advice is take as much money as you can. People say, how much money? Yeah, 500 would be enough. No, it's not. You've got to <laughs> take as much as possible because you want everything. And it's nice to, I mean, you go there for the fun, don't you, and the memories, but it is really nice to be able to go and go on a shopping spree. <laughs> so my advice is to save as much as possible um, and how to budget. Why? Well, what I did for Florida because we were there for a long time. I bought little money envelopes about that big and then I, I researched all the restaurants because I have a, a certain fussy husband. I will eat anywhere but he's fussy. So I had to research for the food for, you know, to have an idea and then add it up, add, add a tip and tax and then put a ma like put let's say fifty dollars for example put it in the envelope what the restaurant name then you've got it there and make you know round it up so that you've got a spare and then if there's change from it you're winning aren't you you can add it to go get a, a snack and uh, or you know save it for something else <laughs> but yeah so I, I I had envelopes I did it because we we English we don't don't tip as much do we as the Americans. But I read up that uh, mouse keeping, <laughs> like getting a tip. So I got little envelopes for them and put a do just a dollar tip for every day and left that for them. So you just got to allow for everything and put it in an envelope. Then it's there and you know exactly what you you're dealing with. You're not, you know, it's, the money's aside for that. You're not got a big wad of cash in your purse, and it's like here it is. Here's, here's some money. You've got it in the envelope, waiting. So that was that was really handy. That, that came in very handy. That tip. <laughs> what else? Budget. If you go to Florida, I'd definitely recommend using garden grocers to order some food because they're quite cheap and you get you can get so much. We turned up at the hotel and it was in the rooms, piles of like cans of Pepsi and Pringles and all sorts, bananas, muffins for breakfast. So that was really good. Um, what else? How else could I help you budget? Hmm. As I say, just good research. You know, you've got to turn up. Maybe have a shopping list in mind if you've seen things on Instagram or online, wherever. You know, write a shopping list. Of what. I'll tell you another good idea. I heard this from someone. If you see something you like in the shops and you're not 100% sure, take a picture. Take it throughout the day whenever you see anything. Take a picture, then look through those pictures and go, do I like that? Could I see myself going home? That the other thing is, you've got. To look, will you regret not buying it? Will you go home and think, I wish I bought that? So you've got to look at it like that. No regrets. <laughs> now, at Disney Child Forever asks, when did Disney all start for you? So that's a bit like the inspiring when when your kids are brought up on the movies. You just love the magic. Just get bored up on it. <laughs> it, but it definitely escalated even more when we went to Paris. You know, got more intense, and you just want to go back and back all the time. So if it's 2012, 2017 now, we've been six times. In that space, and we're going again in seven weeks today. Woo! <laughs> um. So it's, it's just too addictive. I'm a naughty girl. Anyway. Do you also ask when did you start your passion for it and start collecting? I've always been passionate about the Little Mermaid, but also Pocahontas. Well, I say my husband tells me off that it's Pocahontas, but I say Pocahontas. Does it, it's, you know what's, what's what's the real? <laughs> I don't know. I say it however it comes out my mouth. I must look such a weirdo on this camera. He's gonna film the rest of the video. Ooh, so oh, well, I feel silly. Um, <laughs> yes, I remember back in the day when you used to rent videos from the garage. And we walked up to the garage um, and rented Pocahontas. And, oh, I was so excited! Isn't it? And I loved it. And then I was begging for it. I'm sure it was my sixth birthday. I was begging for it, and I was like, Oh, I hope I, that's all I want. I hope I get Pocahontas. And I've got other. I've got loads of Pocahontas stuff. 
that's another memory. So those two, Little Mermaid and Pop Up Hunters, they're my two favourites to this day. And they were as as a child. So it just escalates. Passion, passion. I mean, I think having the tattoos on me definitely. When people moan about tattoos, and I just think it's sad that they got something they're not they're not passionate about something. Tattoos, you get it on your body forever. You must be passionate about it. So, get the start of those is a good passion. Just you know, it started there as well. You know, which is little bits linked here and there, and start collecting. Yeah, as I say, I had some pins and mugs before my husband. I'm sure my mum always used to have like the old jungle book thing. I remember when I was a little girl, I think this was my sister's, I wonder if it's in the loft there, I hope it is, I hope it was never thrown away, I'd love to see it again. I'm sure it was like a map of the Disney parks, on the foot, uh, like a carpet thing, you know like those cars things you can get to ride your cars on, it was like that and I remember Cinderella's castle from Walt Disney World. Remember that um, being like a stand thing. I just, I'd love to see that again because I, I wouldn't even know what to type in on eBay. Probably can't get it anywhere. I'd love to see it again. Oh, and I had viewfinders from loads of Mickey Mouse ones in that. Loads of dollies and things. But then I was into Barbie as well as a kid, and one of my favourites was having a teal and the fake food, plastic food. And having a shop and having baskets, I used to get my family to make me a shopping list. <laughs> That's all the questions. I really enjoyed that, although I feel silly, so I hope you all like it. I'll probably, my next one, I wouldn't mind doing what I said about the top 10, maybe 15 items in the collection, in the living room and in the bedroom. Cause I'll probably do a top 10 in here, I think. Top 15 in the living room. <laughs> um, but please give me more suggestions for videos you'd like to see. I know some people want a plush collection. I mean, here's, here's some of it behind me. I thought it would be a nice backdrop for the video. And I'm thinking when, when we go to Paris, I'll do a haul video. That would be cool. That would be my first haul video. Um, what else could I do? Someone wanted a zoom zoom one. I could do a, a slower one of the mugs because I did a kitchen tour, so I could do a slower one of that. But please give me any suggestions. And I'm sorry if I'm silly and I don't edit videos and you probably could, can't see my whole face in the whole video because I'm all bop, boppy and awkward and um oh he's falling over but you got a friend in me see I'm so silly I'm just date getting off of t tangent or whatever that saying that word is <laughs> oh um what else am I talking about? Oh yeah, other videos I can do. <laughs> I'm so silly. Yeah, other videos. Uh, <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram at Walsam, at Walt's Mouse eighty eight, when I say this video is up, I'll do a post that the video is up. Please comment of what videos you'd like to see next. I just fancy doing this one next, and if there's any more questions you want to add, I can always do another one of these. Unless you think I'm too silly for it. But I hope you oh my voice is probably horrible on this, I do think I sound like a man or something, a bit manly, a bit dopey, a bit of both. But uh, never mind, see I'm getting all distracted again. There's a, an ambulance. Um but that should be it. Lots of love to you all. Have a magical evening. Oh, the claw, the claw. Thank you for watching.